It's not a very wonderful evening, uh, as we could be aware. Um, one Nigerian uh, gospel artist uh, was allegedly killed by the husband. It's all over social media. People are talking uh, about this sad development, the demise of a powerful musician, powerful gospel musician. And so this evening, we just decided to take this opportunity to say our condolences, our deepest sympathy and condolences to the people of Nigeria and particularly to the family of the late musician uh, Osnachi. The surname is quite hard to pronounced. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's very, very sad that uh, uh, such can be happening. And so, um, according to what we feel the Lord has put on our hearts to speak into lives uh, of uh, Couple. couples or people that are married, uh, we felt that it is very, very important for us to actually take this moment to just discuss uh, abusive marriages or abusive relationships. Honestly speaking, from the scripture, the Bible says that husbands love your wives. The scriptures tell us that for this reason shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Now just, if you come to think of it, you are one flesh, and then you are beating your wife. I don't know how to express this, but deep down my spirit, I'm very angry with men that abuse their wives. The Bible says you become one flesh. I think and I do believe that there should be something wrong with men that abuse their wives. With men that abuse their wives. How on earth would you get up and begin to beat your own flesh? Because your wife is you. The Bible says that you are one flesh. And so you begin to beat a wife, beat a woman. Abusive relationships are bad. For the younger ones that are just going into marriage now, if you see a young man who is abusive, you better separate than get, wait until you come and get into a divorce or later on, you know, you, you find yourself dead as a result of abuse. Men who abuse their wives physically, they are men who abuse their wives emotionally. They are men who abuse their wives verbally. Things that you say to your woman, things that you do to your woman. And sometimes, uh, you, you, 
you, you tend to forget that these are human beings like yourselves and they have feelings. And your decision to abuse them is totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. You cannot even raise up and raise your head and walk tall as a man. Just how do you do that? How do you do that? How do you call yourself a man who beats a woman? And I want to warn you, to tell you, you must stop such kind of behavior. You must stop that such kind of behavior. If you are not happy with a woman, why not let go? Not in any way encouraging divorce, but if you are not happy, say it than to continue abusing someone's child, to continue abusing a woman. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm listening to my husband. I'm really downcasted. I knew before you go on call. Um, I remember when you were changing, you were a gospel singer. Work in Nigeria, I don't remember my fire. First, I don't think I got the Umuntu we pay on Kashi. Quite a time in Mona Lisa Molandi story, yeah, Mukumombe, Balan Shepa News. This young lady has been killed by the boyfriend they've been living together, Balansha. My heart was heavy. The truth of the matter is that this animal in a man that beats a wife or abuse the wife is in the man that you see now for Look, this is a servant of God. He's called an evangelist. He's been abusing the wife to the point of killing her. We have not only Nigeria. We have them even here in Zambia, the members of parliament. We have even uh, some ministers. We have even judges. We have whoever, whoever. When you see them from outside, you think, they can show off their big cars. Their wives can look beautiful from outside, but inside there are so much abuse. Let this come to an end in our country. Women, you need to speak out. You need to speak out than losing your life. I know, like, uh, for people like those who are called pastors, uh, a woman would think, like, people think, what would the church think of me? What would it benefit you or your children that you say you want to live, to continue living in this particular relationship because of your children and then dying you rather die this same man has been beating you abusing you making you to go into depression you end up committing suicide because you, you are so ashamed to share your pain with other people I'm this depressed Oh, you end up committing suicide. The same man you are killing yourself over, the man who kills you, thereafter he might even be released from the prison and you go and get married and start life all over. What I want to say to my sisters there, the first thing that you should think of is yourself. Mm. The Bible is very clear. It says, love thy neighbor as you love yourself. It means a human being is supposed to love first himself before you love another person. Mm -hmm. It's a golden rule and it's, in, it's biblical. There's nothing wrong in having loving yourself. So no bango wa gulo mundo, mundo munowe, achiyo pantu valume. Wabatangisha kuntangisha. 
Wow, and our shalango The next thing is this. The next thing is this. Because of a man, people will laugh at you that you're a divorcee. As much as the Bible says that God hates divorce. Now, the truth of the matter, you are not supposed to remain in that relationship. When they say, till death do us apart, mufi vi na mufi suma. It doesn't mean umuntu afilo kula kutimba wala chiwe efi vifi in it. Uh-uh. They're talking about circumstances that come from outside. Mufi vi without having money. Lacking in one or another thing. Sicknesses. Efi vifi dia. But being abused mentally, physically. Bala kupuma. Bala kuma. Ama shiwinga. Bala ingilava. Lume festing wakweva. Nemo muliva nakashi. Mwana inefe mwa kwa kwa chini elastic hii puile. Wasa ikumba tafiat one day. Yes, there's faith. But when you've prayed, you've done all that you can, there's no need. There's no need. There are certain things that we've been talking about. Uku kanya avantu mamufi upo. That they can change. But umuntu kupumashe. Gabaku ipchunisha apachio mbatu unachirawa metabu na skida na pola. The next thing we listen to you, Panga and then a chapel from a Pama State Sopum Ponini. Ero do they put stuff in a area, a little move as a chap, 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 a rain that you quite in warm one. Ababa, Miabo, Mava, and a cashi. But if why, Quabino, we know to Vesham Charo Chazambia. Twambio Kuba Puma to Panga, Mabupia, and a Mayo, Naritamba Puimo Vijo, a Quindia, but a man of a Mino Mamu, and a Mavu, Badim, Pumaula. I think we should do that to men who feel they are men by beating their wives. And such men are cowards. If you can beat your wife, you are half an, a human being, half an animal. You are a human being because you, you, we can see that this is a human being. But inside you, you are an animal. And if you're a real man, why don't you go and bring him up? Why are you abusing a woman? As we got interrupted, I was talking about men that abuse women. Okay, these men, they have indicators. It's like when you're driving a vehicle, before you turn, you have to... Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for patience. following us and thank you for thank your you patience. Thank you for your patience. Network is trying to disappoint us. But we want to make it very clear. Mm -hmm. My dear sister, before you become a wife, you are a human being. And God says you ought to love yourself. Mm -hmm. The measure that you are going to use to love your husband is the measure that you love yourself. And exactly. so like my wife was saying, you cannot be keeping things at heart. Things are going wrong in your house. And you just say, well, pantu wabali mwenyewa shikofu. Pantu wabali mwenyewa evangelist. Nga nafumye lili ya shitu ala seva. Pantu wabali mwenyewa somebody in the society. Kwa yu muntu ufuile kuna Nigeria, tule mfuwa kali mbusha ti, wabali mwenyewa evangelist, the minister of the gospel. And the church is trying to cover it up. But the sister and everybody are saying, she was beaten. We can't conclude that was the cause of death, but... The fact that she was beaten, our way. Why should you beat your wife? Honey, let me just talk up to, to my fellow women and the young ladies out there who are preparing to get married. If your boyfriend beats you or is so abusive, don't you think he's going to change? He's just telling you, this is who I am. It's a reason I posted some time back that those who want to be understood in relationships should not be in love, should not be in relationships. If a person says, I never You are you go to functions. Immediately, just know this man is capable of killing. He's not a human being. Somebody who's not afraid of beating somebody's child. 
What more when he pays? Is it two hundred and kwacha, two two fifty? As uh, also whatever amount, whatever whatever amount, amount whether whatever it's fifty thousand, whether they charged you twenty cows, it's still someone's child. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I'm a father of uh, uh, girls, girls, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I give out my daughter in marriage. I don't expect you to abuse her. I don't abuse the mother. Why should you abuse my own child? Mm. Because when you're abusing, you've got to think that the person you're abusing is someone's child. Just like you, you are mean, having wait, children now. We should not give uh, this way, a sexy way of saying abuse. Well, you, you're beating up your wife. Shame. Shame on you. Shame. If only I could lay hands on that you man. You are an embarrassment to men, to real men like us. In fact, you're not even supposed to be called a man. You're an embarrassment. You're supposed to be men called... Men ought to defend women. Yes. You, you know, some, something that has been misunderstood is the I do, I do, I do, I do. Let me just talk a little bit about the I do uh, a, a covenant that we make in church. When, when you are making a covenant in church before God, you say... Uh, to care and to love for better, for worse, in sickness and so on. It, it's, it's, it's all talking about external forces that would come and attack your marriage. Mm -hmm. It's not talking about the internal forces where you begin to raise against your wife and then your wife must stay in the name of I do, I do, I do. No, no that's no. not how it works. Marriage is not supposed to be Shipikisha Club. It's not supposed no. to be Shipikisha Club. It's supposed to be of love and enjoyment. Exactly. How can you say... And you know where this thing is coming from? It's because women are being taught of we don't should pick hmm? Now you ever. Now you move from both. Somebody can't go ever and not finish pickish at club. Why should he pick at club? Why should he pick at club? Why should he pick at club? It's not to care We need to change some of these things. It, it's wrong, wrong. You are not supposed to beat your wife for many reasons. Beating dehumanizes someone. Just think of it yourself as an old person and you are being beaten by someone. It, it dehumanizes you. And, and that is the reason why you should not even think of it. How should you, even in the case where you have caught your wife red-handed, mm. divorce her. Mm. Then start beating her. Is you she kill the somebody, woman? Is you she kill the somebody, only woman that's And you uh, go to jail? Yeah. And causing pain on another family? No. 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 And the other thing, the four Kulombako, Mwalanjele uh, Lakuwe Jinala Wontia, Muma Township, Mutuika. Umwemo, no kuipana mwe no mufilisana. Mune mwono mtuwala mumati, ah, ujabama mumenya, mamuna vake, sambe la che, ah, ah, imuwe ni mwema lemo, nako kubale mumenya, yoko kukuni mwema lena chuku mumenya. Mwaewa kwa vantu. Eh, gamulepo mwasani nembe la kupa inbox, pa Facebook. Tu alikuwa teneba kuna kumu mkashi kwa ti, nembe, ina alikuwa tembo, shukume mkwa shandi mwema msango fia. Kwa ti niso ka mwene pe kukumu kusansa nto mtu. Mwema mma township. Mupantu mwene maya ndayari, fula mwani palamina. Umutu wale punda mutule. Organize yourselves. Get that man. He's not a man. He's an animal. If anything, he's the one who deserves to be beaten. Beat him up. Ewa mwamutu wala kupolisa, chachira wa mwamu kashi. Takuna ukamieva chiyo, this is mob justice. No. As long as the mwamu ipe. To ladies, like, I want to come back to ladies. Mwamu amele ale kufuaya, treatment ale kupela, kutu wamu na itara. Pano nope, na vasa suka, ele vasa iwe shawe, sweetie, sweetie. Mwakotship, mwamu aliba pretense hii kulu. Emu ava hypocrisy hii kulu. Nili ya mwamu fuaya na. Dero na mwimi ni napa, na mwike tana mwiminwe, nomba ya masa mboku ishiwa, no kuika na pamwenu ngeishwa, na upwa kuchipondo na unapwa kumuntu. Mm. There is no harm in you leaving that relationship. I know people say, ona ripo katuta, na wa mwenda chifupo file po, iyo, ito walaika ni ramuli uladiei, uladiei, inkonya, everyday, everyday, uwa landa si, iwe woni wafanchi bagnani. Please, 
mkayachula that is why women become economically independent mm. don't depend on your man ave ngecho vai kalira mu mufi upwe kya ba abusive bantu ngana fuma kona alachula bantu ngana fukapo akampo kakamotoka kamotoka eko fuire kamotoka eko fuire be economically independent bana mayo tampeni uku baba akakusuka mukubomba na maboko yenu so that you can uh, you, you can be independent pakoi batinangu ayi batambo kula chitepya kuchita chita wayi batawe ichi chupo kanshinga cha kwe batinka le pumwa kwa mulandu wakwe batimula chitira pizza na chive hmm umwa umelion saka kupera ma indicator nga fefya chiranda bana chi ilio e muri mu coach you be able to suka bathu yumwa myaka nsunga nangu yumwa myaka nsangura ni punch ni bad change then wakashana mwe bashira ukwa not at yo e nomba aba clash time of tanwa nanya aba clash tension no 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 he didn't grow up with his parents but are you his parents eh is it your fault that he didn't grow up with his parents No they got divorced so you know it it, 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 it traumatized him who says he's an animal this is the time you, if you whoever you are wherever you are put a name to that relationship before it costs your life hmm. a man you go to your disco or you've gone out why were you why was that man looking at you this one that one and you said hmm, he he doesn't love you as if you can stop someone from looking at you eh? people who always look at you they will look at you if you are pretty people will look at you it's, hmm. it's looking at you. someone has looked at you are you the one who caused him to look at you and so you beat 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 no 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 please let's come to uh, being more reasonable as men our physique is always uh you know tougher than that of women that's a, that's our nature that's our makeup if you have that much power go and uh, make blocks you know start making blocks and uh, become more productive go to the farm use that energy uh, to to grow tomatoes to grow safflower uh to grow chili and you make money and uh, uh if you are so frustrated with life Uh, because you don't you don't push have your a job don't put your frustration on somebody on somebody else in the name of we do being understand wives are very hard being a wife it doesn't mean you own that person she's not a property she's not your property that you say yes uh, now i've lost my job or things i had do no go and do it to your parents if anything if if i can be given a chance to say given move emotion where you say any animal not a man an animal wears a trousers and pretends to be a human being if he beats a, a woman or somebody's child get that animal cage that animal because he's not a human being and i want to speak also to women vana mayo eh nkamoko shaba no mention kama shaku tuladie atisha ni kula vanda va pf atuladie uladie why she but now for now for now for now for ien kama takwa va tell your sisters if you can in any jipela moment inbox me pa facebook penyapa atala mayo vanya mwa mona va chite mwira mona time muko shumu nina ma Not and uh, just in case you are facing challenges in your marriage we we've been helping a lot of marriages mm. uh come by back God's to grace. life by yes. God's grace mm. please feel free pick up a call uh honorable please intervene in our situation we we we, we have been counseling we've been dealing with many couples and helping them get out of stressful marriages and becoming making them happier marriages we've been doing that so if you are really stressed you call us give us a call and we will come and you'll sit you down and help you in your uh, marriage challenges prayer also is one of those things that mm. help transform lives mm. so if you are so um, if you are in a lot of problems and you are failing to handle each other we can help you through prayer and just to strengthen your christian faith because the closer you are to god the closer you become with each other mm. the closer the, when you when both of you establish stronger relationships with god when christ becomes the center of your relationship and you marry 
you will not be able to, to fight the extent of beating each other. It doesn't mean that given doesn't offend me. Mm. We, we do, we are human beings and we are human beings. But in all that, I, I cannot go to the extent of slapping her. Imagine. I, I can't this, do that. This body on me, watch what? Uh, no, I can't do that. We will sit down and resolve our issues. Mm. If you are so angry and you, you, you feel that you cannot handle your temper, walk out. Because sometimes women can be so pressing, they can push you against the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, jump in your car, drive away if until you your temper car, comes. If you don't have a car, if, walk just away. Walk away. walk away. Come back after your, your temper has come down. Don't go to extents of punching your wife. No, Slapping. don't do that. Or using abusive words, you know, you, you know, demeaning your wife. Nae mamu ni manakash, ah, yo, yo, wa chave chave. Iwe, awa wa chave chave chane. I remember even the president once said it in his speech when he came to address us at the National Assembly. Mm. He was talking about such things. How, during daytime, you call your wife names, then at night, at you, night you want, you want to, to say, hey. uh, love you, uh, no. which love is that? <laughs> We've heard of some women, we've, we've heard some reports that um, mm. How is your behavior during, during the day? During the day? It's you can't... At you are useless. No more you can love you Anyway, that's a topic for another day, but we want to talk to these animals. Not uh, GBV. The problem we have, honey, is the names that we give to wrong things. You even say gender-based violence. It sounds so sweet when it's ugly. It's like the the one they call pedophile filers, whoever they call. But yeah. you have, have a to I to know. Giving them, giving such acts, titles, uh, titles. Hmm? call them animals. Hmm. Let's put even placards everywhere to say a man who beats a woman is an animal mm. whenever you raise your hand on your wife just know you're an animal mm. and we want the society to know even your neighbors to know that this animal any animal does not belong to society no and it's not must supposed to live among human yes, beings must be caged, must be caged. Mm. even in the cells we'll, we'll come up with the cells say we want all the animals not to be mixed with human mm. beings there because others they stole, they mm. did what? Those mm. are human beings. Mm. But to those who beat and kill wives, they should have their own cells and we'll call it the cage for animals. Mm. There's no need of you so, to do that. Dear friends, mm. um, uh, followers, I know that others are not watching us now, but later on you will have the opportunity mm -hmm. uh, to uh, watch this video. I want to um, uh, encourage you to stay in touch. If you have a challenge in your marriage, um, we, we've been doing a lot of uh, counseling lately. We are available to help you uh, come out of those challenges uh, by God's grace. Uh, we're not saying um, that we are um, the know-it-all kind of... Uh, no, no we, we, we do not know it all, but we want to help. Yes young couples or, or those who are already in marriages mm. it doesn't matter how old it is as long as you're human beings you're bound to differ have, and differ have challenges in your have, marriage yes we are available you mm. can inbox us uh, or uh, contact us via whatsapp which i think is available the, the whatsapp number is available on this page you can contact us and then we'll actually be able to arrange a, a counseling session with you and help you and as we wind up, we also want to just remind you that we have a trip, uh, the Weekend to Remember Marriage Retreat to Kasanka National Park in uh, July, August uh, this year. Uh, end of July, on the 30th of July, we, we leave Lusaka uh, to the Kasanka National Park. And other people are asking, where is Kasanka? Kasanka is the, um, in Chitambo, and Chitambo is in central province of the Republic of Zambia. It's a wonderful place, and all that we'll do in that place is to try and uh, uh, help, you know, reignite the love that you had for each other, uh, have fun, and actually be able to deal with some of these challenges 
that we're facing home. And also to just get you out of the stress in the house and just be in a peaceful place where you can actually address some of the challenges that you are facing in your marriage. And honey, before we just go, to those who have this uh, problem of beating wives, or wives which cause the wife, husband to, to beat, beat them, them, we want just to encourage you. Mm. Communication, when there's a communication breakdown Break in marriage, mm. that's what leads to that. Yeah. Most of uh, cases, that's what leads to that. But above all, we want to encourage you, encourage you to start communicating. And for women, it's not for you to share with your family members that you do you There's nothing wrong. For example, I'm just giving you an example. So what are we saying? We are saying that this thing of a husband beating you or abusing you. Speak man, out. You have to speak, speak out. out. Speak out. Speak out. Remember you got a girlfriend. Girlfriend, you are going to find out. ask you when you get there and they fly. Where? So all of you that are watching now, you just type a comment there. Just say, speak out. Don't die in a chomu Just mm. speak out. Speak, speak out. Speak out. Speak yeah. out. Don't go to the grave with it in your heart. At your na la seva nyaba biyani. Well, me wobenga wala kuma ba ba di seva na kale. Ba seva na kale. Ba seva na pe kale. Ba mo neke la pe kuvantu. Eh, be na be be na be na ba sokolole pe. Speak out. Don't die, you know, uh, with it. In fact, a government that you you let in a few people go to give us somebody or whatever or give us somebody whoever it is, as long as he beats you, know that whether he is the CEO of the company, he is an animal, and he, he needs to go where he belongs to the cage. He is an animal. He doesn't belong to live amongst the living or the human beings. So what are we saying? Honey, I want to emphasize before we wind up, young ladies get the signs of an abusive man. The man who asks, where are you? I, do you think you are also... No, just know that person cannot change. After all, you never gave birth to him. You can't not change him. Though you can pray for him, there are certain men that you can know that this one, maybe he can change, but the women abusers no just no just please open up open up ngalangwali pile ngombe 20 na shive after all you quarter service kale pali shive ngombe 20 you just have to tell your relatives what is going on mm. if you can't please as we are still living maybe because we are not your relative in inbox us or whatsapp us we'll follow up and we'll see how we can help you in a manner that God and can we'll give us but above all conversation with the confidentiality thank you deserves thank you be blessed and uh, we also want to say condolences to the family to the family of Osnachi and also condolences to all women that have been killed in our country or murdered in our country by their husbands and also men that have been murdered by their wives. We are saying condolences and we are saying this cannot continue happening, not in our continent, not in our country and not in anywhere on the face of the earth. Women, speak up, speak out, speak out, speak out. Don't wait to lose your life or because of a man. No. Stay busy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, just want to thank those. Please speak out, speak out, speak out, speak, speak out. out. Speak out, speak out, speak out. Woman of Zambia, speak out. African woman, speak, speak out. out.
Speak out. Speak out. That's the only way. That's the only way. We need to start caging these animals. They are not men. It doesn't matter how many children you have with them. You might leave your children suffering. This is the time. African women must rise and put a name to this. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and thank you for spreading the word. Speak out, don't forget. The word is speak out. Shalom, shalom. Thank you, God bless you. That woman is gone. She's, She's gone. gone. Okay, bye-bye, people. Bless